Welcome back, everybody, to the NBA 2K22 Miami Expansion Series with the Scouts. And today, we are going to go into part two of round two here against the Raptors, games three and four, and maybe game five as we head into Toronto for the next two of the series. We're going to start off by sim casting the first half of game three and watching a good amount of the second half and seeing what unfolds there and we'll take the rest of the episode from that point because we have no idea what's going to happen and uh we're just going to get right into things so a back and forth first quarter here so far the scouts win it by two points and now to start the second we're trying to increase our lead further and we are pretty much doing just that and by halftime, it's really not close. The scouts lead by 27 with a 43 to 18 second quarter. So fantastic job there. Let's actually do probably just sim the rest of this one, unless they mount a comeback here before the fourth quarter. And we can see if we can close things out there in game four. And actually it's a decent game here. We might want to watch the last 10 or so minutes. Let's go. So, of course, we are at Scotiabank Arena here in Toronto. And we are up by 12 with pretty much the rest of the fourth quarter left. And we're going to see if we can close this one out and go up 3-0 in the series as Outlaw can't hang on. Scouts keep possession. Time counting down. And Anobi has the ball. He fires a shot. It's blocked by Lawrence Hicks. Hicks goes to Outlaw. Shot clock. Reaching zero. Outlaw has to shoot the shot. He does. And it's no good. Almost got to fall, though. Good defense by Mullen. Jordan. Open shot. That one is good. He's got 24 points. Jaws got 27. Both guys shooting very well. Nicholson has a mismatch. Pulls up, and it's too strong. Jordan to Mullen, back to Valentine at the rim, but he posterizes Hicks, and the foul is called as well. Good passing by the scouts. That leads to a chance at a three-point play. The free throw for Roy Valentine is left short, though. Now a three for Nicholson off the rebound. It's good. Jordan just broke his ankles. Nicholson fires a deep three, and it's no good. Jordan double team finds in an OB. He goes to Valentine, who cuts and dunks. Tyron Pope with the ball. Shot clock counting down. He fires a shot. It's no good. Outlaw gets the board and can't put it back in. Gordon back to Weaver. Wide open. Look from beyond the arc. The scouts lead is up to 20. The Raptors have to call timeout. The scouts will take game three. 121 to 100. We lead the series three to nothing. And we are one game away from closing this one out. John Morant drops 32 and 8 in a losing effort. Tyrese Halliburton 21 points. The scouts had 32, 5 and 10 for Ronnie Jordan, 27 for Weaver, and 19 and 10 for Kirk Banks. We win by 21. We're up 3-0. Let's go and close this one out in game four on the road. Here we are back at Scotia Bank. Trying to put the sweep on the Raptors and they're trying to keep their very slim hopes alive of playoff basketball continuing here in Toronto but a three falls on their first possession thanks to Tyrese Halliburton 
Weaver off a screen, fires a shot, and knocks it down. John Morant got the switch, flies past Kirk Banks, and is in for his first bucket. Valentine draws the shooting foul on Outlaw. So free throws for Big Roy, who has had a lot more free throws this series than most others. First free throw is up and good. And with Valentine is off to a two for two start. Rant penetrates, hop steps, help comes, and we force the miss. Good job by Jordan and Valentine to help each other out there on defense. Jordan gets his way inside. Great job to use his physicality. John Morant did not get the ball. Ronnie Jordan gets a steal off of Lawrence Hicks. Now Banks for three in the corner. It's good. Scouts up by four. Lawrence Hicks to answer. That one is up and in. We're going back and forth here to start this one off. And Anobi with the ball. Shot clock is winding down. Now back to Banks. Now Weaver for a three. Left it short, but Valentine gets the offensive rebound. He will go up, and he puts it in right over Outlaw. Just too tall and too big for him. Big Roy, 13 points per game and just below 13 boards per game in these playoffs. Much better than his numbers during the regular season as Lawrence Hicks had a wide open look below the rim. Ronnie Jordan steps back, fires. That one no good. And the Raptors have the ball. In transition, the lob to Outlaw. He can't finish. Wow, that was a great pass too. Weaver sees a lane and lays that one in off the feed there from Ronnie Jordan. Morant goes back to Pope. Now Halliburton for a contested three offline. Weaver, wide open look from downtown. It's in once again. Ronnie Jordan gets a steal off of the Halliburton pass. He is blocked by John Morant, though. Valentine gets the loose ball. Jordan back with it, wants to try again. He pulls up and knocks it down in the face of John Morant. Outlaw steps back, fires, shot blocked by Valentine. Morant got the board, though, and puts it back in. Kirk Banks, wide open three. It's in once again from downtown for Kansas City. Weaver's got two threes. Kirk Banks has two threes. And the scouts lead by nine. Morant, really tough layup. No good. Kirk Banks, some solid defense right there. Jordan waits for a screen from Banks. Takes it. Flies past Pope and is fouled. That's the second on Pope. Fourth team foul by Toronto, just under halfway through the quarter. And Jordan's first free throw is up and good. And the second puts the scouts in front by 11. Outlaw is fouled and got the bucket at the rim. First foul on Big Roy. And a chance at a three-point play for Toronto. As Graves checks in for an Anobi. Outlaw missed the free throw, but Nicholson got the board and knocks down a really tough fadeaway jumper over Kirk Banks. And our lead is cut back down to seven. Banks, another open shot. That one is good. He's got eight points. Fantastic start for him. Outlaw wants to attack, drives, and can't finish. Good defense once again by Big Roy. This time not fouling him. Graves for three in transition. It's no good. Valentine gets the board, but Halliburton stripped him as he tried to go back up to put it in for second chance points. John Morantz over a Weaver offline. Weaver jacks up a three. It's good. What a start for Weaver, Jordan, and Banks. All three guys have had a great first quarter as we have 28 points. With 4.40 left in the quarter. The scouts dropped 38 points in the first quarter. And we have scored 18 so far. Just below halfway through the second. And we now lead 56-32. to 32. It has not been a close game. After a couple of 
buckets being traded back and forth to start the game. It has been all scouts since then. Halliburton with the ball. Good defense by a Big Row, and he forced the miss. We've got Cartwright, Graves, Banks, Jordan, and Valentin out there right now. Weaver taking a rest. Valentine, his shot is blocked by Pope. Nicholson can't hit the open shot. Valentine inside tries again. No good. Pope. Two good plays by him in a row. Now Hicks. Wow. Early tough shot over Banks, who has a lot more length than he does. But Lawrence 6, 10 points, 4 for 6. But a negative 18 plus minus, but a steal right there off of Ronnie Jordan. Jennings spins, fires. Not a good look there for the Raptors. Cartwright, great lead pass to Jordan, who cut it right down the middle into the paint. And we have 58 points. And we are not even close to halftime. Hicks, that shot no good. Kirk Banks was there once again. Cartwright with the ball, gotta make something happen. And he almost does, but Tyron Pope. Some good paint defense. Picks for three in the corner. Left it short. The Raptors have not hit their open shots. Valentine posting up Halliburton. He fades away. Don't love that shot for him. Nicholson with the ball. Got some space. Pulls up and he missed it. Cartwright with the ball. Once again, has to make something happen. He pulls up, and it's too strong. Nicholson, really good physicality, but he can't finish the layup. Boston with the ball. Baseline has a shot blocked by Pope. Bowen gets it back. The double clutch. Wow. What a play by Tyler Mullen. We have shot 54%. They have shot just 32%. Derek Jones Jr., really tough shot, but he got it. Banks, corner three, it's good. Has he missed a shot yet? I'm not sure, but he had 16 points in the first quarter. Shot 83%, and he's having a really big day in this closeout game as Pope gets the offensive rebound and puts it back in. But the scouts lead by 25, and we are... A minute 20 away from halftime. Banks at the rim. Jordan, a great pass to find him there. Banks has 21 points, 88% shooting so far for him. He is having one of the best days of his life. Hope for three, no good. Don't see him shoot that. Shot many times, Jordan slices through the defense. Are you serious, Ronnie? That was absurd. Nicholson dunks all over Mullen and a foul is called. At least the fans have some kind of play to cheer about. Down by 27, now 26. It's looking pretty bleak for them. Weaver off a screen. Gets past Pope, I thought. But his length is there to block Weaver. And now a foul is called on Nicholson on the other end. For what? I'm not sure. But Scouts get the ball right back with six to go in the half. Weaver has it. He will slice through defenders and a really tough layup to make it 69 to 41 at halftime. Well, I can't say it's been a very exciting finish to the series, but we'll jump in here with 420 to go and Watch the last couple of minutes here to get some more highlights and wrap up the episode because we are moving on to the Eastern Conference Finals once again. And it'll be wide open at the rim. Cartwright found him. Scouts lead by 20. 
Halliburton, nice move, but he's blocked from behind. I think that was Weaver who got a hand on that one. Cartwright jacks up a shot. It's no good. The ball goes out of bounds off of Big Roy. Raptors take over. Kirk Banks will check back in. Halliburton baseline drive. The runner is up and good. He's got 23. Jordan. No good. Cartwright gets the tip. Can't put it back in Valentine. The third chance is good. The rebounding for us has been spectacular. Halliburton. Another wide open bucket. Jordan, wow, we got Nicholson on skates, but he recovers for a block. That was a great play by both players. Now a steal by Nicholson. Fast break for Toronto. He is stripped by Ananobi. Jesus. Valentine, the hook shot. No good. Pope gets the miss. Corner three for Nicholson, but he left it short. Cartwright finds a wide open lane for a layup. We're back up by 20, under 130 left. Outlaw, really tough shot at the rim. Valentine, some great defense as per usual. Banks cuts wide open there as Cartwright made a good pass. Good play call. And another big offensive day for Kansas City. The Raptors defense has not played well this series. Halliburton at the rim. Can't finish. Got his own miss back. And that might be his last bucket of the year. Cartwright will put things away with the dunk. No more shot clock left. 132 to 110 is your final score. The scouts sweep the Raptors. And who are we going to play in the Eastern Conference Finals? Let's find out. Tyrese Halliburton, 27 points. John Morant, 21 and 11. As the Raptors are sent home packing. The scouts get four players scoring 20 or more in game four. Weaver drops 29, Jordan 24 and 12, Kirk Banks 23 and nine, and Cartwright 22, eight and six. And by the way, Roy Valentine, a career high, 24 rebounds in this game. And that is massive. The scouts play well as a team and individually. And we are moving on to the next round. Now, who are we going to play? It's Cleveland taking on Boston, so it's the five or the eight seed for us. Over in the West, the Nuggets have a one game lead over the four seed Clippers, and the Memphis Grizzlies have a really good series hold over the Kings, but anything can happen. Uh, let's find out what happens here. I'm gonna send this round, and we are facing the Cleveland Cavaliers. I've got a pretty good feeling about this upcoming series. Um, over in the West, the 7 and the 8 seed will meet up for maybe the first time ever in the Western Conference Finals. We are by far the highest seed left. How is this even possible? You got two 8 seeds left, a 7 seed, and then us as the 2 seed. Were all these teams really that fraudulent or were they just hurt? I don't know, but either way, Cleveland is our matchup once again in the NBA semifinals. So that's who we face next episode. Let's take a look at their roster and see if it's changed that much since last season. We do, of course, know that they traded for Billy Perkins and got rid of Evan Mobley. So we'll see how that changes things for them, but... I think right now I will edit Colin Sexton because we know time and time again, as we've seen, that his shot te tendencies are very, I guess, messed up. I'm not really sure, but they are really high. 
he gets very aggressive and does not pass the ball. And I just don't know why, because these don't look that bad. These don't look like too terrible, at least for jump shots. The layups might have to go down though. We'll lower that a little bit, lower that. See if this has any effect on how he plays because he does take way too many shots every game that we watch. So let's see what happens here. Here we go. Okay, this is what it is. Shot for freelance tendencies. We're going to lower that to about 79 and see if that has any good effect on this. We'll save him as a character and hopefully that will fix things. But here's their roster. Garland, Perkins, Allen, Sexton, Torres, Baisley, Trey Murphy, Weber, Dixon, Hicks, and more. They also have uh, former scout BJ Mason, who not sure he's had the most successful career. This is his fourth season, and he's definitely not having a, a good career. So that is where we leave things, and let me know, guys, do you want to watch this whole series in one episode or have it split into two or three parts if it comes to that? Because... We could do it like the w wizard series where we are probably going to sweep them and we try and fit it all into one episode that's like 40-ish minutes long. Or it could be two parts like this past series against the Raptors. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And uh, until next time, take care.